y'all she was seven okay so I have another video about how to raise your standards how to treat yourself like a, a princess or a queen or whatever if you want other people to treat you that way um, first of all your environment okay make sure you know your bedroom your home wherever you spend most of your time is decorated nicely or to the best of your ability with your finances okay make sure you have an ambiance because ambiance sets the mood of certain uh, things like like I have a candle burning I have candles burning I have a wax warmer my room smells good most of the time some of the time my beds made up my couch I have a little couch back there the pillows are on my bed I have soft sheets do these things for yourself so that when you do meet someone someone and they see how you're living they're going to come with the best you know if they already see that you have you know standards for the way you sleep they're not going to come at you you know with less than you deserve so i mean you can do this on a on a cheap budget you can actually because you know y'all know i love the dollar tree and and 99 cents only and thrift shopping you can create a space or an environment that reflects how you uh, want to be viewed how you want to be treated how you would like to live so um, have an ambiance going always have a scent going have a candle going um, you know have a nice decor don't just throw a bunch of stuff together don't pile your clothes on the floor don't have a dirty room because it, when people come over your house and they see how you're living that's how they're gonna treat you okay and when you see how yourself is living like if you look around and you see a dirty pigsty room or just like mismatch stuff or you know stuff that doesn't coordinate um, you don't have an ambiance there's no you know there's it's just blah you're gonna feel that way about yourself you're gonna feel like oh my god you know uh, you, you're not gonna feel like you deserve anything because you haven't even given it to yourself you know so try to do that for yourself so that when someone you know enters your life they they see how you're living so they have to come correct if they if they walk into your house and they see you know nothing matches dishes piled up clothes everywhere you know just bare walls that's how they're going to treat you okay so you have to create your environment okay um, if you can't afford to, I'm telling y'all, thrift stores. Um, and yeah, hang some curtains. Treat yourself like you want to be treated by other people, okay? Give yourself the things that you want someone else to give you, okay? Because once they see how you're living, then A, they'll raise their standards and say okay well this this girl you know she likes nice things so if I'm gonna date her I'm gonna have to you know really you know put in more effort I'm gonna have to take her to nice places she she's not gonna want to go to the buffet okay <laughs> so you know she has nice curtains she has uh, you know she burns expensive candles in her house you know they might not be expensive but hey you know you don't know that or she burns candles in her house all the time she has her furniture and decor match you know I can't bring her over my apartment and I only have a mattress on the floor you know they're gonna start to reevaluate themselves because of how you are you know either they'll leave you alone which is probably for the best if they you know can't live up to your standards or they'll bring themselves up so that y'all can be on the same level um, <laughs> I remember uh, when I was when I was younger and um, my friends would have these boyfriends and you know they would invite us over you know before we all went out and had drinks and we just you know chill at their apartment I would go in and they wouldn't have any furniture they would just have a mattress on the floor and a kitchen table that's all they had these uh, these girls that were living like in an apartment and you know 
they would spend money on other stuff though they would spend money on jewelry stuff that really you know that stuff that people could see without coming to their house so you know when they when their friends would come over or their boyfriends or people they were dating would come over and see how they're living they're like oh this is you know she, she doesn't care you can give her anything and she'll be happy because she didn't have anything you know even though she has designer purses and you know two hundred dollar uh shoes and all this stuff she didn't have no furniture same with guys they have all these nice shoes and nice clothes in their closet uh you would think and, and they had a nice car you would think that they were you know living decent and you come in they only have a mattress on the floor okay so <laughs> yes so uh, create your environment you know if you feel like you are living in a good environment you're not going to go less you're not you're not going to be comfortable with less you're going to be like you're automatically going to get up out of that environment because it's not pleasing to you anymore you're going to be like i can't date him he doesn't even no okay i'm used to like the, i'm used to this okay i'm used to curtains i'm used to furniture okay i can't date you sorry and you're going to be like um automatically raised standards so That's what you have to do. Um, and I know a lot of people say, well, I don't like to waste money on that or I'm not into that. That's fine. Just do a little bit, you know, get you some candles, get you like a, a coffee table book, um, you know, put some fake flowers out, just the little things, little touches. If they see you at least care about things and, and are trying, they're not going to give you their worst, you know. So, um, yeah, just wanted to put that out there because a lot of people, they weren't raised in an environment where, you know, their home was their place where they put all their effort into, you know, because a lot of people couldn't afford it. But when someone comes over to your house and they, they see how you're living, then they either have to match it or do better. You know, they're not going to drag you away into a worse environment, you know. So that's, that's number one. Also, like, uh, how you, how you keep your appearance, you know. If you're always raggedy, if your clothes are dirty half the time, if you leave the house in house slippers and pajamas and you're not in junior high or high school or college, if you're out of college, if you're not in college, you shouldn't be leaving your house with house flippers or pajamas on, okay? It's not cute. You know, it's how you keep yourself, you know, how you dress yourself. Well, show other people how to treat you. And, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Like I said, all you have to do is put the effort into it, you know? So it's not about the money. It's just about the effort because like, you know, if you, if you just move somewhere and you don't have a lot of money, you can basically just go to, uh, like Goodwill, any thrift shop and they always have nice stuff there and you can actually find some antiques actually, or some things that you didn't even know the value was higher than what the price was. And you can get some pretty nice stuff. So that's really not an excuse. I just... Your environment is very important because it also um, gives you a space where you feel, you know, this is your own space. You feel good about yourself. You feel good about looking around. You know, you're happy. You're comfortable with yourself. You're not constantly longing to, you know, be with other people. You're not constantly saying, oh, I wish I had, you know, I wish someone was here with me because you're enjoying your environment that you created for yourself. Uh, and, you know, a, there a lot of people suffer from this, that they don't care about certain things. And when people perceive you that you don't care about certain things, they're not going to offer you certain things either, you know. Um, so just keep that in mind and once you get into it you'll you'll start to see and feel better you'll start to be like oh yes i love this ambiance you know it's so relaxing i just sit in my bed and read while the candles are lit and da 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 think about 
what type of man that you're going to attract if you live in an environment where, you know, that's your everyday um, routine. You know, you're not going to attract somebody who is like um, wanting to, you know, do the chill and Netflix thing. <laughs> or, you know, the, the buffet or something like that. They're going to be like, this girl does not want to go to no buffet. Look at her. Look at her apartment or look at her room. It's it's really nice. I can't take her there. Maybe we should go somewhere else. This is what they're thinking. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Hmm, maybe I should have brought some more. You know, they're not going to they're not going to offer you <laughs> the buffet when your room looks like, you know, a queen, you know. So make sure your environment matches your standards and your expectation as well because first impressions you know that's how people treat you by the way that they perceive you so before you invite anyone over to your house to pick you up to see how you live on webcam or whatever on instagram on facebook don't take a picture of your nasty dirty room don't take a picture of your nasty dirty bathroom don't take a picture of your bare apartment with nothing in it because that's how they're going to treat you and perceive you, okay? A long time ago, in the old days, when uh, uh, the wealthy used to have their portraits painted, they would include all their silver, like in the background, their candlesticks, their silver candlesticks. Fruit was really, like exotic fruit was really expensive back then, so they would have like a bowl full of oranges or something on the table. And they'd have like all their jewelry like sprawled out on the table and statues and stuff like that so they would have their their stuff in there to show their status and while they were being painted you know and that's how a lot of you know people perceive them when they go back and look at their painting they're like oh this was a wealthy woman yes you can see these are all her items that she possessed and da, 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 da. now if you're on Facebook taking pictures with in your um, less than desirable living quarters then that's how people are going to perceive you so you know at least make one room look good and go in that room and take pictures <laughs> oh it's getting ready to rain oh it is raining we all know what I mean so yeah, you'll see a lot of these pictures floating around on Facebook where people are taking selfies and then there's like poop in the toilet or their bathroom is disgusting or their room is piled up full of clothes or they just have a mattress on the floor or they're butt naked and you can see their butt in the mirror. Y'all, <laughs> get into a nice place, clean it up. Y'all can see, y'all always know I have this like pile of boxes back there. I clean that up for y'all. Okay, I used that's like where my storage is, where I store all my like stuff for uh, my Etsy store, where I um, have boxes and wrapping paper to wrap my packages. But I I cleaned it up for y'all just for this video. Check it out. <laughs> so yeah, first impressions, environment, treating yourself like a queen, a princess, creating a space. So that when somebody comes over or when you go over somebody else's house, you will feel very uncomfortable in their space because it's not even on the level that you live in. Okay. Put focus on that. Um, this will raise your standards. This will alleviate some of the people that come into your life that don't need to be there. This will just let them go real quick. Um, I remember a long time ago, <laughs> I had a nice car, like a really nice car. And oh my god, it's raining. And as soon as like a guy would approach me and they'd see my car, they just keep on going because they know they can't do nothing for me or they, they can't please me because you know, couldn't do it. So they would just be like, Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. and walk away. So it's raining, okay. So yeah, I just wanted to put that. Um, video out so yeah y'all go to the store go to TJ Maxx Dollar Tree get y'all little, some little decor items make your room look livable 
put something nice on there's this girl on uh facebook she's a lady her name is do it her channel is do it on a dime she teaches you how to decorate really nice and also at home with nikki if y'all want some tips at home with nikki she uh decorates for like cheap and does diy stuff uh, for like living spaces and i'll link their channels below so y'all can go and figure out how to make your humble abodes look you know oh shoot it's right to look nice so people can treat you the way that you the so people can treat you better because if you don't treat yourself good no one else will so you gotta you gotta step up your environment as well okay i'll see y'all later bye